Today, we're spending 24 hours with a Jewish family with our friend Menachem. And Shalom. We're in a synagogue right now. We're in a synagogue. Always start your morning by praying. Okay. Even though it's early. Let's go do it. Brie, you're looking very Jewish right now. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. <laughs> I tried. Although, it's, I literally know nothing about the culture. Like, I'm now kind of in my head. All right. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. Thank you. So I got my kippah on. I'm gonna learn more about this. So this is the balcony where the women sit. So men and women are separated for davening. You're gonna be up here alone? Okay, up here alone. There's no one else here. So while I'm up here, yeah. what should I be doing? Here is the prayer in English, if you'd like. So you can kind of like try to follow along and kind of like see what it's about and things. So Hebrew goes the other way. The books are printed backwards, basically. Or technically your books are printed backwards. I'll see you later. First, we were like about to separate your heart from the rest of your body. Menahem is showing me how he gets dressed with the religious accessories. I don't really know the backstory. This is called tefillin. In each box, there's a little part of the Torah that is handwritten on parchment. You'll see that we put the straps around the arm, and you're actually hitting different pressure points. By wearing them, you're helping connect and focus as you pray. I'm at the synagogue right now. Everyone's praying. I'm pretty lost. I don't know what the prayers are about, but everyone's kind of in their zones. So I'm trying not to disturb them. Here's Brie all by herself. Brie's really studying the book over there. That's impressive. They just put down the Torah, which is like the Jewish Bible. And we've been praying for like 30 minutes now, I believe. It's over. We did it. It was early, but we did it. Now time to pick up three. <laughs> did you read it all yet? No, I'm almost done. You're Just almost got done. this much to go. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it your first Jewish prayer service? I was reading the Torah and I learned a lot. Um, the Siddur. And now, oh, this is the Siddur? This is the Siddur. So what they took out of the Ark is the Torah, the big scrolls. Oh yeah, nice. See, I didn't even get that right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we can go home and make breakfast. Yeah, let's do it. Nice, let's do it. So would I wear this kippa the whole day? If you want to, you could. I'm gonna wear mine the whole day. Uh, hopefully there, we don't get some slander, occasionally we do. Just giving really? you a heads up, sometimes yes. Recently, things have gotten a little bit more brazen in the country, especially for Jews. That's, that's tough. It exists still. I it mean, still I exists. Guess. So how come women don't have to wear that? So women have like an easier way to like connect and find a way to connect versus men kind of get distracted easier. I feel like you dressed up well for the day. Exactly. I did. <laughs> I was telling him, I was like, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling him, I was like, I don't know if I have any Jewish clothes. I looked at my closet, it's all this. So I was like, like wait, Jewish okay. Drama, right? We're at Menachem's house right now. We're gonna meet his family. I think he has two little kids. And this is where we're staying the night because it's a 24 hour challenge. Hello. Welcome. Hi, hey. how are you? Hi. Nice a little you. gift for you for oh, that's allowing so sweet. us to. Uh, Thank you, yeah, sure. Well, so this is where we're going to be sleeping the night. Menachem's family has been so kind to host us and this is really the immersive experience here. See, so yeah, on every door except the bathroom, we have a mezuzah. Inside is another like little piece of parchment with another part of the Torah and it's kind of like, to have God look over you. Which you're gonna end up kind of like looking OCD and touching doorposts that don't have them <laughs> because you're just so used to doing it. I like for breakfast is usually made yeah, mom, mom, we also have eggs. How are you guys feeling? What do you guys think Yeah, I'm totally down for that. Wait, was it bagel and lox? Is, is that like a Jewish thing or is that just? It's definitely a Jewish delicacy. A lot of people try to take credit for the uh, bagel and they also try to call it a sandwich. It's not a sandwich, it's a bagel. So what is this? This is lox. Lox. Which is this is definitely Jewish. Jewish. Jews are not supposed to eat um, blood. When it comes to eggs, some eggs have blood spots. So what Jews do is they'll crack the egg into kind of some sort of see-through cup, and then just check and make sure there's no blood. Why why eat meat at all? Because I mean you're killing an animal. Like, so when you take an animal and you make a blessing with it and you use it to feed people and nourish people, that animal is a part of that journey. Got it. My mom's a vegan. She just like doesn't can't wrap her mind around like 
hurting an animal. Killing animals, it's atrocious. Oh, killing animals, <laughs> yeah. But if you didn't kill an animal, you wouldn't have brisket rizzle. <laughs> or gefilte fish, or any food that we love. Oh. <laughs> I feel that. Um, basically what Jews do first thing in the morning, we wash our hands. You're gonna lift with your right, pass it to your left, and then wash your right hand three times. One, two, three, then switch hands. Perfect. Three. Then Bara. One, two, three. Bara. Ata. Ata. Adonai. Adonai. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Melech. Melech. Ha'alam. Hala. Ha'alam. Ha'alam. Asher. Asher. Kiddushana. Kiddushana. Bimitzvosav. Bimitzvosav. Nice. Vitzivanu. Vitzivanu. Al. Al. Natilat. Natilas. Yadayim. Yadayim. Amen. It's like a blessing. Exactly, it's a blessing on like washing your hands and like shouldn't be talking right now. I won't tell. I won't tell. <laughs> so anytime you have bread, so usually like on Shabbat when you have challah, you wash your hands and you make the blessing on bread. So you can grab a bagel. I can talk now. Yeah. Bagels, lox, some eggs, and some juice. Um, you guys can grab a seat. No, I'm. And we'll smush thank you very much. Right, so Markion, you put egg on yours. You're being very rebellious Loading today. Loading it up. Oh yeah, <laughs> breakfast. Ooh. I like that. Should I put it on top or should I eat it like this? I think we should put it on top. Put it on top. Put it on top. I about half. So. I'm scared. I wasn't scared and I was scared. Go. I agree. <laughs> Breeze friend locks. Mmm, that's good. It's really good. Yeah. This is very high pitched. This is very high pitched. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us for breakfast. Well, of course. And trying out locks. We appreciate you being adventurous. <laughs> My dad's side is Jewish, but I was never raised religiously. It was it's always kind of like a. A, a hidden part of my identity that I never really explored. Well, if you have questions throughout the day, we're here to help you answer it. And then now you're gonna get to live a day of it and experience it. I'm keeping this all day. <laughs> so now we're gonna go meet with a rabbi, okay. and we're gonna ask our questions about Hanukkah, and we're gonna go do some Hanukkah stuff. Oh, it's, it's Hanukkah today? It's Hanukkah. Oh. Today is the fourth day of Hanukkah. So tonight will be the fifth night, today's the fourth day. Oh, wow, Sorry. that is so cool. Are you excited to find out what Hanukkah is? Yeah, I actually have no clue. <laughs> Me too. How are you? Hey, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice Tell to meet you. me. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. That's I'm just going to go inside and get some menorahs. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how many you want to do. First off, they look beautiful. Okay, so Menachem asked that we do something called Miftayim, which is outreach. We want to reach out to every Jew and make sure they have a menorah. Are you excited? I'm excited. We're gonna Three times. find other Jewish people. <laughs> We're trained to do this from a very young age. Yeah. Across so, strangers. Like. Across strangers. So we have here in the box that we designed, where it has all the instructions for a beginner, with the blessings in Hebrew and English on the back, and then we have the box of candles with the menorah inside. So we're going to find Jewish people on the street, and okay, I'm, so I'm just following their lead people. on talking to people. Good morning, well, sir. Funny, hey, how are you? Are you Jewish? Uh, my father was Jewish. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. We could have given one. Should've given we should have given one. Okay, next time. <laughs> Jews become amazing business people because we are totally fine with walking over to strangers. This guy has to be Jewish, right? Happy Hanukkah. Are you Jewish? No. Oh, right. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. We're in this game of like trying to identify with, right. do they have the Jewish Who, traits? The could they be, could they not be? Unfortunately, we can't do the penny trick anymore. That's considered anti-Semitism. Leave the penny and whoever bends over for it, it's like, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Worked in the 70s. All right, Menachem, you got the next one. I got the next one. Sir, are you Jewish? Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Is there, is there anyone here who celebrates Hanukkah that wants a menorah or needs a menorah? No, thank you. All right, thank happy, you. Holidays. Thank you. happy holidays. Okay. Happy holidays. I am going to find three people. I'm going to find three people. Yes. It's going oh, to happen. We got you. Yeah. We got your juices flowing. <laughs> happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Rejection, you gotta be okay with rejection. You're so into it. I've had too many video shoots where I've been too scared to go up to people and it just takes so much time. You just gotta get into that mentality. We just 100%. go up to people. Excuse me, sir, are you Jewish? Oh, thank you so Happy Hanukkah. Nice to meet you. Happy Hanukkah, goodbye.
Yes. That's how it's done. Oh yes. <laughs> right? Look at that. It feels good. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, buddy. Are you Jewish? No, but Irish. There you go. Thank you, you so much. Yours. Thank you, well, Celebrate. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. I'm gonna give it to my friend. She, her husband died. Oh. oh. He was Jewish. I'm gonna give this to her for a Christmas present. Thank you so much. Of course, we appreciate oh. you. Happy Hanukkah. What a nice guy. Yes. So, is that okay that he's not that counts. Yes. Counts. Again, so it's about spreading the light of Judaism and it's about giving everybody the opportunity to spread light. Uh, specifically for Jews, it's like a mitzvah, but I think it's a beautiful thing for everyone. Ooh, actually, Chay, that satchel kid looks Jewish. Okay. Not on, a lot. He on it. This is, the, this is the final one. We gotta, I'm gonna hand this out. I gotta chase him down. I love your shoes, by the way. Red Congress. I love your shoes, by the way. All right, you didn't want it, and that's fine. You gotta move on. This might be a controversial, controversial question, but is Hanukkah better than Christmas? I mean, I've never experienced Christmas to know if it's better than Christmas, <laughs> but I'll take eight nights of partying over one night any day that's, of the year. That's what I'm saying. And it's you know, like they're both amazing, but ours is amazing times eight. I mean, like, come you, on. You, Are we going to a donut place? We're gonna go donut place and then the grocery market's right next. So it's a tradition to eat donuts on Hanukkah because the oil lasts at eight nights, so we eat oily foods. Okay. So one of them is sufganiyot. They have good donuts here? So they have the best donuts, my favorite donuts in town. Okay. Um, can I have three jelly donuts? Where are your favorite donuts from? I like Dunkin' Donuts in New Jersey. I haven't found a good donut place here in Cali, to be honest. You just found it. We'll see. Thank you so much. Nice. Now we're ready. Help you off loose pants because we're about to <laughs> fatten you up Hanukkah style. We'll grab a donut, okay? And then we'll say the uh, blessing together. Baruch. Baruch. Ata. Ata. Adonai. Adonai. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Melech. Melech. Ha'olam. Ha'olam. Barei. Barei. Menei. Menei. Mizanos. Mizanos. Mmm. I'll give it to you. This is good. I've never been a jelly donut fan, but this is pretty good. Out of the Jay-Z? No. Ah, I'm oh. sorry. I don't know. I, it's our dirty water. <laughs> I'm kidding to everyone in Jersey. <laughs> what is this? So this is a kosher market. It's nice to go because they have like a good variety of kosher meats, kosher cheeses, and it's also nice like you go in and you just know everything's kosher. Check it out. Sushi, meat, and cheese. Let's oh, go. Wow. Everything's kosher. It's funny if you just look around that all the men yeah, are wearing kippas. A lot of different cultures have their own supermarkets and you'll see different types of food in them. So it's cool to visit them all. Any unusual things in here, Bree? What are these? Pomegranate seeds. These are pomegranate seeds? Pomegranate, it's the best fruit. <laughs> I know you love them, I just don't know what they look like. <laughs> oh, Bree. Potatoes are going to become latkes, AKA potato pancakes, the greatest. Hanukkah invention. You're gonna love them. Ooh, potato pancakes. Bri, are you excited to try that out? Honestly, I'm excited to try anything. I'm like, latkes, I had salmon for breakfast, this is great. <laughs> this is hall of bread. Probably the best bread ever. Uh, you, you just, you have to eat it. You just can't even describe it. Are we having hall today? Or if you like, we can throw it on. Yeah. Not, if it's possible, let's do it. Let's, is this one okay? <laughs> hall of bread. We were not gonna leave here without that. No, this is important. Also, look at, God, look at this. It is flat bread. It's cool because bread like this is like a Middle Eastern bread. And as much as there's like conflict in the Middle East, we all share the same cultural foods. We all have kebab and shawarma and pizza yeah. and those foods. So like as much as it divides us, go to any Jewish store, Muslim store, Persian store, they'll all have similar types of breads. You said everything in here in this market is kosher, right? Oh, yes. So what does it mean if something's kosher? So we don't eat any carnivores. So what we eat is we eat sheep, we eat cows. Only animals that eat grass and not animals that eat other animals. Once you have those animals, the general rule is we eat herbivores uh -huh. who chew their cud and have split hooves. Well, what does that mean? Like a cow, a cow chews its cud, which means that it eats and then it re-chews the food. And then hooves versus let's say a, a horse that has round hooves anything with a split hook. Oh, well, I'm excited to eat this. We got the food for tonight's dinner, and I think there's a party happening tonight, too. It's gonna be fun. All right, made it back home. We made it back home. And what are we making right now? Right now, we're making matzo balls, so any good chicken soup is not complete without the matzo balls. So usually, it's specifically for Passover, but matzo balls and matzo ball soup is a all-year-round Shabbos tradition, and now a Hanukkah thing, because it's delicious, and why not? Oh, those are huge. 
huge. Is this your first time trying them? No, I've had it. I don't remember loving it though. That's my only thing. All right, there it is. Just the ball. Let me cut a little bit of this. Ooh, look, it's like a cloud. Kids are running around the house. It feels like we're joining a family again. When am I ever like around kids, you know? Tastes very homey. I think what Menachem was saying was that this is what you eat when you're feeling sick, you know? I have to try it? Yeah. All right, my first matzo bowl experience. Oh, it's good too. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a chef. Good job making the soup. I'm cool. Todd, right? <laughs> that matzo ball was really, really good. Like, I felt like I was at my grandma's house. And it was Holly. Yeah. So we're about to leave to go to some menorah lightings. I think it's kind of like a public event. Now is when the night celebrations are really gonna start, so I'm excited to see what happens tonight. Okay, let's go. How are you feeling? Good, I'm excited. I don't know what the what's what's happening. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty chilly. It's on the top of the building though. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. You guys don't need an extra menorah, do you? We're okay. <laughs> okay. I still have it in the bag, the breezeware right now, so we gotta we gotta give it out at some point. So it seems like we're at this kind of rooftop menorah lighting event hosted by Rabbi Saul Zalman from, from the, the village. village synagogue. Synagogue. You have the yarmulkes, which have I have. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yarmulkes are like Pokemon. You gotta get them all. <laughs> yeah. How many would you say you have? Too many and not enough. It's like when yeah. underwear rips, but you don't want to give it up yet, or an undershirt, well, and you should. Definitely give that <laughs> so up right down. away. <laughs> definitely. That's not the same. We can get a picture. One second. You want to get a picture? It's part of my adopted family. Should I join? Yeah, yeah get in with the dreidel. Let's do this. <laughs> I wonder what food they have here. Is there a dish that you think they're serving here that Markion and I haven't eaten yet? I assume they have latkes here. Hanukkah. This is his first latka. Oh, wow. What is that? Apple You put apple sauce on here? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> hey, let's try it out. What do you think? I like the applesauce twist. The applesauce makes us. That's polarizing. Like, do you like the applesauce on it or not? Yeah. Now we have to compare it with Menahem's homemade latkes later tonight. Well, let's do This is the Hanukkah song. This is Hanukkah rap? Yeah. This is great. They took Adam Sandler's uh, Hanukkah song and then just remixed it. Can we ask you a question about Hanukkah? Sure. Who's your favorite Jew? My favorite Jew? Uh, <laughs> Adam Sandler, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Adam Sandler, yeah, yeah. Myself. Self love, yes. Hey, my favorite Jew is my fiance. Uh, I'm getting married in three weeks. Probably my mom. Because <laughs> I'm Jewish because of her. So. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to the Grove and everyone that was involved in making this happen. This is the big moment. This is when they're gonna light the menorah. So let's <laughs> see what it looks like. Is that the biggest menorah you ever saw in your life? Yeah. Do you think it's a real menorah? Yeah. Whoa! Can you remind us what lighting the candles mean? We have the opportunity to add light to the world. So yesterday we lit four candles and today we're gonna light five. This is just event one of three tonight. There's a little party happening tonight, so let's go, let's go off to that. There are two ways to light. You can either have somebody light for you, or you can light yourself. So now it's our turn to light it up. Are you excited to light a menorah? Yeah. What we're gonna do is this. We're gonna say the blessing together. The shamash is used to light the other candles. I'm gonna light my menorah, and then we're each going to take a turn lighting a menorah. Okay. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam She'asa nisim lavoseinu Bayomim ho'em Ba'azman hazeh Okay, right hand starting So right hand, you're gonna start from the... There we go. Oh, nice. like yeah, I love the candle part. You're doing it, Bree. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna dance. We're about to dance. I love dancing. Bilvad, Bilvad, Ali Sa, Ali, Ali Sa, 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 
growing up, my, my dad would always dance with us in a circle like that. So, and I remember and it was so much fun. So I make sure to dance with my kids like that. Yes. They're gonna remember this too when they get older. They're gonna say like, oh, I used to dance with my parents. Even though right now they're just distracted by their cousins. <laughs> but later on they will remember it. So now let's go and eat. What um, meal are you excited for for tonight? We've been talking about the brisket a lot. So I know. I am excited to try that. I'm excited only because I've never liked brisket. And today has been like a mind switch for me when it comes to the food. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us for dinner and joining us for the day. I'm excited to change Bree's mind on brisket. Mm. You might. This smells amazing. This is brisket? <laughs> this is so good. Maybe it's just barbecue brisket that I've just never liked. This is really good. All of the meals today were amazing. Do you guys need a roommate? <laughs> <laughs> One thing that, I, that I've kind of been hearing on a consistent basis about the history of Jews is obviously that they've struggled and been tried to be killed by so many countries and people. My dad got punched in the face for being a Jew because there was a game going on in Brooklyn that was uh, to get initiated in certain gangs, they'd have to find an old Jew and punch them in the face. Oh my god, oh my god. that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I, d I know. But that's real. That was this year. That was this year. That was this year. That's yeah. that's a pretty. My dad's 65. Time. I didn't realize that it was to that extent, given all the other like hate crimes that have, that have happened this year. Jews as people have been through so much trauma, as terrible as it is. The trauma has brought us together. The suffering really kind of shaped and formed who Jews are to an extent. We're waiting for some guests now for kind of the, the final party of the night. Are you ready to end the night strong? Oh, I'm so ready for this. All right. My friend is here. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. How we doing? We're doing good. Dude, I love Happy that. Hanukkah. Yeah. Hello. Oh, Happy Hanukkah. Hello. Happy Hanukkah. How are we doing? Okay. Okay. Wow. We got so the first here. batch of Ooh. homemade latkes are ready. Homemade so. like this. You, you don't need anything with it. You just take a bite and experience Hanukkah. Let's try it. Ooh. It's a little hot. Did you hear the, the crunch? Yeah, the crunch. crunch. Yeah. Oh, the crunch. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that's yeah. a potato pancake right there. Bri, how are the latkes? Anytime someone says something bad about the juice, we just hand them a latke. <laughs> take a bite. Think about it. Get back to me. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to hate the juice anymore? You don't want to kill all of us? You're welcome. <laughs> We're gonna run through the rules of dreidel. Okay, so what a dreidel- High stakes game. A high stakes game. I heard, oh, yeah. I heard a lot about it. Ooh. There's something called drunken dreidel. <laughs> How we play drunken dreidel is basically you get <laughs> right. a, right? First you have to drink before you talk about the rules. Oh, Lachaim. Lachaim. Lachaim, The letters of this, there's none. None is a wasted spin. Gimel means you win, which means you get to choose who takes a shot. Oh. Hey is you get to choose who takes half a shot. God. And Shin, you have to drink. Mark, you ready to so ease into the Hanukkah spirit? <laughs> no this is my first spin. Here we go. Oh, and I gotta. You can knock it down. And Shin. Oh, oh, drink, 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 drink. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good start. Not a good start. All right. Oh, this one again. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna choose you, Mark. Gimel. Gimel, nice. Marking, because your cup is almost finished. Oh, yeah. 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 That's not for me today. What are we doing? Yeah. Adele's going to be the first person we're playing charades. Yeah. Opening. Uh, Hello. There's parties. Yeah. Swimming. Oh. Ironing. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, this is like soccer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that might be homemade jelly donuts. Oh. <laughs> well, that was was it. That was a party, right? Uh, that was that a, fun was a night. day. That was a party. That was a night. <laughs> so tomorrow, 9 a.m. breakfast. Yeah, Is that we'll the plan? Breakfast, cool. night. All right. Well, have a good night. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bree, how's it been for you? They're such an amazing family. Honestly, I think I might come for another couple days. And <laughs> it's 1 a.m., guys. It's time to go to bed. This is a 24-hour challenge. We're gonna have breakfast tomorrow and end the video. Yeah. All right. Good night, Bree. Good night, Mark. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, I really needed that sleep.
subscribe. I woke up before you. Yes, you did, little Bree. <laughs> Are you excited for some pancakes? Oh yeah. I like how I'm mixing it up. I'm putting a little bit of jam on at least one. And then the syrup on top. Am I allowed to compliment my own pancakes? Yeah. They're amazing. <laughs> okay, I have one request for the last shot. You guys just stand. Maybe next to me, we pull up the chairs and we just say, That is the end of our 24 hour challenge. Comment down below which family we should visit next. And we'll see you in the next video. Shalom!